Our next caller is Adam from Ohio. Hey, Adam, how can we help you? Hey, guys, I had a question. Um, So my question was, if I have goals for both strength progression and aesthetics, is it better to focus on one at a time or would it be better to uh, tackle them simultaneously? Well, okay, so... uh, Better is hard to say, right? Yeah, that's a great question because both those goals uh, translate well to each other. Working on strength oftentimes will improve aesthetics and working on aesthetics, uh, at least the the, uh, the way you train for aesthetics, sometimes or oftentimes helps with strength because it helps you focus on, you know, weaker body parts and connecting to certain movements and mm-hmm. focusing on form and the squeeze and the pump. So uh, to answer your question, uh, I think it's always best to train in phases. This is just from my own experience. So I don't think training, you know, let's say you worked out, you know, four days a week, two of those days are strength, two of those days are aesthetic you're probably better off, again, this is based on my experience training lots of people, doing a three or four week phase of each. So three or four weeks of strength followed by three or four weeks of aesthetic, you know, maybe bodybuilding style training. Mm. Uh, There's a recent study that came out that actually supports what I'm talking about as well. They showed that people who did it that way got better results. And you'll find in a lot of our MAPS programs, we tend we we put things in phases uh, because again we find that to be the most effective way to do it. Yeah, well, it's hard to say best, right? Because what's best is whatever you'll do the most consistently, right? So it's hard to say that um, one way is better than the other. I, I just I, I've found with clients that I've trained that it's easier for us to to focus on one thing at a time than blending. It's real similar to like the question where people ask, like um, you know, like in a workout where you'll have you know, half the exercises you're doing in the 15 to 20 rep range. And then the other half of the exercises you're doing in the, you know, low, you know, five rep range for like strength building. Uh, Can you do that? And can you get great results? Sure. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And if you enjoy lifting that way, but I like organizing it where it's like, okay, we are focused all on strength for the next three to five weeks. And then, okay, now we're really focused on hypertrophy and the pump and chasing that. I just personally find that I've had more success with clients and myself that way, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't do it uh, the other way. Yeah. Adam, do you have, are, are you following any MAPS programs right now? I'm not following any MAPS programs. Um, I've just kind of been tinkering with my own upper lower, uh, and I have been trying to phase it out, but uh, this question kind of came up as I was working on that. Um just as far as what kind of blocks or phases I should be running. Hmm. Well, what, tell me, what are you most inclined to do? Like typically, like you, you like the splits, you like bodybuilder style training the most, like what are you most compelled I'm, I to mean, do? I mean, I've tried it all, um, but I have really leaned more towards uh, the split training. I think that that's, that's really where my interest has kind of landed we just like to kind of challenge that a little bit and see if maybe you could try a new stimulus. Uh, a lot of times the body will respond in ways uh, you'd be surprised uh, just by shifting into a completely different style of adaptation. And so to, to take you into more of a strength phase might actually be, uh, you know, a great start for you. Well, Adam, I'm going to, I'm going to gift you a maps program, but I need to know a little bit more about you before I can make the right recommendation. How long have you consistently been lifting weights? Oh, consistently, I'd say probably about the last three or so years. Okay, so three years, your recovery is probably pretty good. Um, I would recommend MAPS Aesthetic, and here's why. In MAPS Aesthetic, the first block, the first phase is strength. It is an aesthetic-focused, obviously, the name of it is MAPS Aesthetic, an aesthetic-focused MAPS program. So it is bodybuilder-driven, but there is a strength block in the beginning, phase one is about getting stronger. Um, I think you would do really well with that program. So I we're gonna agree. we're gonna set mm-hmm. you up with that for free, and I'd like you to follow it. Only if then, you'll follow it, though. Adam, are we gonna follow it? Yeah, that sounds amazing. Guys. Okay, thank I, you so much. Okay, no problem. And then I'd love some feedback after you followed the program. Make sure you take some before and after pictures. I think you'll be blown away uh, at the changes your body goes through when you follow something that's really well programmed. Absolutely. Hey, thank you guys so much for this. No pro- awesome. No problem. No problem, man. Sweet. Thanks for calling. I hate telling people that something is better than something else when it comes to like programs. Mm. Yeah. Uh, 
because again, they're all tools to get you something. Right, and we and we've talked about this before, right? Like uh, it's a subpar program done consistently will still always outperform the best program done inconsistently. Right. So if there's a, a, a modality of training or like the, a program that he follows that he likes that he stays consistent with, even if it's not the most ideal for him to see the most results, uh, but he's the most consistent with it, then that may be better for him. So I always have a hard time telling somebody like this is better. Um, but I also uh, have experienced with my clients and myself that – when we have a focus, when the, the, the goal is, okay, even if you want to, I want to look good, I want to lose this weight, I want to mm -hmm. be stronger, I wanna, you have all these main goals, but your main, we focus on one of those goals at a time, and we build our program, we build our mindset, we build our diet all around that, and then we move to the next part of your goal. I just have found that they've had way more success, and I feel like it's much easier to measure whatever it is that you're doing, what is working the best for you. When you kind of throw it all at it, when yeah. you're like, oh, I want to do mobility, strength, and I and I want to do hypertrophy, all, at, all together, all in the same program, all in the same week, all in the same month, it's kind of hard to tease out, well, what was working really well for me? Totally, yeah. and, and the big one for me is the mindset. Okay, there's a totally different mindset when you're going into a workout, focusing on moving the most weight, right. utilizing versus the pump movement and leverage versus uh, going in there to isolate and feel a muscle squeeze and stretch and connect versus working on mobility or athletic performance, for example. Mm -hmm. All of those are totally different mindsets. So for me personally, switching up the mindsets within a workout or within a week, I just am not as effective because honestly, yeah. the mindset doesn't solidify and set in until like the second week. Plus, it you get better long. at it from a skill perspective. Absolutely, absolutely. So phasing, uh, you know, is in, in in my opinion superior. All things being equal, Adam. Of course, if he loves working out the other way, you're totally right. Like, don't do something else because it's better. Even you know when you don't like it, because that means you won't do it. Right? Do you feel the same way, Justin? I mean, I know you sometimes will do your strength training and then a Zumba class the next day. Like, yeah. oh, <laughs> Zumba you? really shakes it up. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, he yeah. does. He does strength based Zumba though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, it's low reps. That's why you see these hips. They don't lie.